Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys on apple stock is down 0.57 percent so the fourth day in a row apple stock is red and coming down down to critical support 166 we do have earnings coming up next month so keep that in mind that can actually help apple stock possibly get out of this downtrend so far this is exactly what we got last time, a fake breakout. Now on this breakout right here, on that night, in my video, I said Apple needs to stay above 173. Next morning, Apple got up to 178 and then another fake breakout that was Apple came back, took out 173 and now you can see making and going down to a new low 166. So this is going to be your line in the sand for tomorrow. 166 any moves to the upside apple needs to get above 170 and then we can talk about possibly going up to 173 but on that way look at all these moving averages right here guys just above 170 apple is going to have a tough time breaking above 170 and going up to 173 unless we get some good catalyst and uh, that could be that earnings that is coming up next month. So watch out. This is going to be your line in the sand. 166 on Apple and to the upside, it needs to get over 170 and then we can talk about 173. On Meta, it's up 1.54% and just like I said in my video and that was on Tuesday night. Right here that Meta can go back up to 511 and looks like it got up to 512 today and getting a rejection off of this trend line and also if you look at my screen we got 13 day and 20 day moving average right here which is sitting at 505.82 came back and did not hold right here at 505 and now trading at 501.80 so here on meta guys watch out this thing here it's not holding the support right here 20 day moving average and now the next support will be down here 50 day moving average and that is sitting at 494 and just below that we also have supported 490 483 lower bollinger band and then 469 this gap we do have earnings coming up from meta next week on 24th right here to the upside now on meta there will be resistant at 505 to 506 20 day moving average 511 to 512 and then 520 right up here on Google stock, it's up 0.37% and Google holding right here at 156.67, 13 SMA right here on this daily chart and trading at 157.46. So pretty much trading above all these moving averages right here on Google. As long as Google can hold above 156.67, you're going to see continuation back up to right here. That's going to be around 158 and then 160, 162. Below this support right here. 13 SMA 156.67 the next strong support that's going to be 20 SMA right here white line 155 now 155 gives up on Google stock then there will be a lot more downside possibly coming down all the way down to 148 and then this gap just under 145. And here's my X account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing here on X is totally free and you can always ask me a question if you have right here on X. Now let's have a look at some plays guys and these are swing trades and I'm going to actually take you guys in where I actually post all my swing trades right here. You can see these trades right here most of my gains are coming from swing trade. Look at this one here, triple Q. And that was the second time where I got in at 447, 434 puts for July 19. What's happening right now in the money, way over the money, massive, massive explosion on this one. MU puts shorted at 123. 
This thing got up to almost 130. Added three times. 110 puts. If you look at it today, it's pretty much going in the money. Still holding half a position right here on AMU. That is another winner. Nike right here. Got some shares when Nike was trading at 89. And now today, you can look, you know, by yourself. Massive gains on Nike. Starbucks, another one that I bought the dip. Sold today, now trading at almost, what, um, 87, 88? And I actually got in at just under 85. Pretty much at the low of the day when this thing was coming down to uh, 84 and some change. I think that's the low uh, for this uh, last week. That was last week. And then if you look at right here, guys, PNW. We actually got shares today up $10 a share. Massive gains. So all these trade ideas, and not to mention, if you go back, I mean, look at this player right here, CRM. And uh, look at where I got in. This thing, when I got in, this thing jumped up. I think went up by like 15 bucks or maybe more than that. Added three times, 260 puts. And it was down 67%. Usually they don't go down that much because there was earnings, so I had to hold on. I had plenty of time, added more puts, and today, 37% profit on CRM. From a loser, down 67%, came back 37% profit today. D-Dog, this was also a fantastic trade. Got in at 130, target was 125, we got out with some nice profit. So all these trade ideas, and you can see, multiple trades, swing trades are available on Patreon, and you get live trading, daily trade ideas pretty much every day. And uh, these are available. And especially if you want to support the channel and you're really serious about trading, then definitely, guys, check out that link down below in the description for Patreon. On Amazon, stock is down 1.14%. So Amazon now trading below 180. And that is not looking bullish anymore. You can see moving averages are rolling over. And that means one thing, there might be more downside here on Amazon, just like we saw a big sell-off here on Tesla today. So here on Amazon, guys, below 180, next support down here, 50-day moving average, 177, and then lower Bollinger Band also down here at 175, 173, and then this gap, 170.23. To the upside, now Amazon will find strong resistance at 180, 182.19, 20 day moving average and above that level you're going to see amazon going back up to 185. on amazon stock is down 1.84 percent so microsoft is a big mega cap stock market cap at three trillion dollar right look at what's happening here on microsoft and that is why i think a bounce is coming very soon here in this market at least a counter trend rally and why Look at this lower Bollinger Band on Microsoft. It's sitting at almost 409 and Microsoft trading at where? 403, 404. After filling this gap at 405, extremely, extremely oversold. Big names like Microsoft and Apple. Whenever you see trading below lower Bollinger Band, it might take a day or two, but it's not going to stay down here for too long. Also, we do have earnings coming up next week, and I think that is on Thursday from Microsoft. So yes, we could see a counter trend rally early as tomorrow to where? Even we saw that a little bit today, this morning, but this thing actually uh, came back and now trading at 404.27. Going into tomorrow's session, there will be support down here at 400, strong support, and now that it's under this gap, after filling this gap at 405, 405, that's going to be resistant to watch. And above that, you're going to see a quick trip all the way up to 409 to 410. And then 413, that's going to be a counter trend rally here on Microsoft all the way up to 413 if we get one early as tomorrow. If not, the next strong support will be down here at 400. On Tesla stock is down 3.5%, so Tesla closing all those gaps to the downside. But what about all these gaps to the upside? Again, gapping down today to close this gap at 152. And not even holding 152 as a support into closing. I did play Tesla calls this morning, and 
sold for absolutely nothing. Break even, guys, because this thing was not moving, came down to 149 and went back up to 151. And that was the range all day. You know, I was holding until like 1030 and then I let it go for break even, no profit, nothing on Tesla. And now it's trading below 152, this big support right here. So the next support on Tesla will be another gap and that is at 146 and above 152. You're going to see some continuation to close this gap right here, just below 154. And once we get up to 154, then watch out for a move up to 160 to 161 to close this gap on top and possibly can move higher to retest white line 20 SMA just below 170. And once we get up to 170, then we can talk about possibly Tesla going higher up to 180. Until then, guys, watch the resistance right here at 152 and also the support, next support to the downside, 146. On AMD, it's up 0.69%. So AMD, this was a dead cat bounce right here, getting a rejection off of this level 164 again. And now today you can see continuation to the downside and new low 152.32. So you can see how well this is playing out. We got this bear flag, took out this big support 164. And since we came under 164, this thing cannot break above this level. And now looks like it's coming down to close this gap 148.75 and that's going to be the next strong support on AMD. To the upside, AMD will find resistance right here at 159 to 160, 5 day moving average and then 164 and once we get up to 164 and AMD can hold right here, then we can talk about AMD possibly coming up and closing this gap just below 167. Until then, the next strong support and this gap right here Watch this gap right here as a strong support, 148.75 on AMD. On Nvidia stock, it's up 0.76%. So Nvidia guys, I mean, I'm sick and tired of watching this stock every day. Even when market is pulling back, this thing is up. And right now we cannot trade this stock, especially when you look at options, they're expensive. Even if you go like $100 out of the money, calls or puts, they want like two grand so you know i'm not touching this thing anymore and you can see i mean even on a down day where big names like microsoft pulling back trading below lower bollinger bin this thing cannot get a down day where this thing is down like five to ten percent which is uh, kind of you know really bad for this market imagine what's going to happen if this thing actually pulls back like five to ten percent in one day what's going to happen to nasdaq 100 a massive crash right and people don't get that point where this thing is holding up the market. We saw Microsoft going down. You know, how much NASDAQ went down today? Half a percent, which is nothing, right? Compared to the gains we got in last six months, that is nothing. NVIDIA, green on the day, which is insane. Even though the stock came down near the gap, did not close this gap, 823. This gap is still open at 823 came to 824 and went right back up to 862 almost. So in Nvidia guys, unpredictable. This thing is all over the place. Yes, the trend is down. It's trading above 840 right here, which is holding 50 day moving average. Now the trend can definitely change on Nvidia stock. One thing I saw on Nvidia and I gave you guys a hint before, this is a double top and so far you can see this neckline pretty much broke but then went back up and again holding right here guys, 840. So 840 needs to break on Nvidia stock and then you're going to see Nvidia coming down and filling this gap, 823, and then we also have supported 800. To the upside, now above 840, Nvidia can move back up to 860 and above 860, watch out for a move up to 888.52, 20 day moving average and then 900. So Netflix going down half a percent and I don't know where things are going to open on Netflix. They just uh, came out with earnings and now this thing is down another 4%. So I think they beat on earnings, but this thing is all over the place. And let me know if I'm actually wrong on that because I just took a look for a second and uh, all I saw was uh, uh, beating the expectation, but this thing is down like over 4%. So if this thing opening below 588 tomorrow, 
which is more than likely that this thing will open below 588. In that case, it might come down and close all these gaps, 575.78 and then 559. To the upside, above 588, there will be resistance at 604, 614, 5 day moving average and then 620. So that is why I would not be trading Netflix tomorrow, depending on where things are opening and how well they're pricing in options right at opening tomorrow, guys. This stock here, tomorrow, it's gonna be really hard to trade, especially when you're trading options, unless things actually uh, settle right at opening, then maybe you can play puts or calls, you know, whatever you feel like. You know, I would stay away from Netflix until this thing actually settles tomorrow with the earnings that actually came out uh, just a few minutes ago. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys.